The most important step from hand to machine spinning takes place in 1769, when Richard Arkwright improves the spinning jenny. He replaces the manual operation of the spindles by water power. This new way of energy input gives the machine its name, the water frame. The thread is twisted faster, stronger, and more evenly. For the first time in history, a machine produces high quality yarn automatically and over three times more as the thread operated spinning wheel. In 1779, Samuel Crompton combines the principle of the spinning jenny and the water frame. By adding the spinning jenny's pull-out carriage to the drawing frame of the water frame, he creates a hybrid. For that reason, he names his machine the spinning mule. Crompton's invention improves the yarn production not only quantitatively, but also qualitatively by the production of finer and stronger yarn. The first universal spinning machine can move up to 50 spindles simultaneously.